Hello, welcome to this course on computer system validation. In this video, I'm going to show you what is computer system validation or otherwise known as CSV step by step. If you're struggling with understanding CSV, this video walks you through exactly what you need to do so you can clearly grasp the fundamentals of computer system validation, different guidelines from various agencies. Now, I want to present this course in five modules and to give you an overview, these are the five things which we are going to cover in this course. Number one, what is computer system validation? Number two, why is computer system validation important in pharma, medical device, biotechnology industry? Number three, what are the regulations to know in CSV? Number four, what is new in computer system validation? risk-based computer system validation and CSA, computer software assurance. And fifth one would be how to do computer system validation with an example where I will show you um, GAM5 and we'll also test based on agile and testing. Hi, I'm Srijit Kanjaringaran. I've been doing computer system validation almost for two decades now and very excited to share my experience with you all. This slide has information about me, so you can read it at your own pace. I'll quickly move into our learning content. So here are three goals of our session. Number one, we are going to look at what is computer system validation. Number two, we are going to look at different agency definitions. And I'm going to explain you what does that definition mean so that you clearly understand what is really computer system validation? Let's get started. Let's get started with goal number one. What is computer system validation? In regulated industries such as pharma and biotech, computer system validation is an essential procedure that guarantees computer-based systems continuously carry out their intended activities in a secure, dependable, and traceable manner. Now, what is a computer system? Computers, computerized system and computer system. So two different, almost similar terms, but there's a slight difference. So computer system is software and hardware and computer system is a computer system when it includes the people, the tools, the activities and the documents around specific process. That's why it's called computerized system. Now, CSV is dedicated to verifying these systems to ensure they function reliably, securely and consistently. Now, I know I have talked about few terms here, but don't worry, we are going to look at the definition and then you will understand what I'm talking about. For now, please remember computerized system and also remember some terms like reliable, secure and consistent. Now that you understood what is computer system validation, it is time for our goal number two, which is agency's definition of computer system validation. Let's look at this. US FDA says confirmation by examination and provision of objective evidence that software specification confirmed to user needs and intended uses and that the particular requirements implemented through the software can be consistently fulfilled. I know it's a lengthy definition, but I'm going to explain in the next slide. What we need to also understand, um, I want to show you a different definition from Wikipedia. It says CSV is the process of testing or validating or qualifying a regulator, example, US FDA 21 CFR part 11 computerized system to ensure that it does exactly what it is designed to do in a consistent and reproducible manner that is as safe secure and reliable as paper based records. Now you can see there is a consistency around the definition itself. So we are going to now learn more about what does each of these mean. Now before we go into definitions, I want to quickly show you uh, a list of various agencies of the world. Again, every country has regulatory agencies. I just picked few so that you kind of familiarize with this. So number one is USA. USA has Food and Drug Administration or known as FDA. UK has Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agencies, MHRA. 
ഓസ്ട്രേലിയ ഹാസ് തെറാപ്പറ്റിക് ഗുഡ്സ് അഡ്മിനിസ്ട്രേഷൻ ടി ജി എ ഇന്ത്യ ഹാസ് സെൻട്രൽ ഡ്രഗ് സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡ് കൺട്രോൾ ഓർഗനൈസേഷൻ സി ഡി എസ് സി ഒ ആൻഡ് യൂറോപ്പ് ഹാസ് യൂറോപ്യൻ മെഡിസിൻസ് ഏജൻസി അതർവൈസ് നോൺ ഹാസ് ഇ എം എ now let me explain you the definition we saw in couple of slides back what does the fda fda definition so it had this words confirmation by examination what does that mean it means verify that the program performs as specified in the requirements for the use for which it is designed incorporating various uses and circumstances basically we need to show by examination that whatever requirements we have defined for a system we are able to confirm it the second phrase was provision of objective evidence what does this mean this means to offer concrete evidence of confirmance record all validation procedures and test outcomes this is one of the core principles of csv to document properly all the objective evidence and the third phrase was user needs and intended uses what does this mean this means review the program taking into account the design and code reviews to make sure it satisfies specified user needs and requirements and there was one more phrase which i want to uh, share which was regularly satisfied what does this mean it means present unbiased proof that the program regularly performs as predicted under all predicted circumstances this means it the system when you validate and test and satisfy it should not satisfy only once but every time in a controlled environment when we test it it should satisfy that so there you have it in just few minutes you have learned the basics around what is computer system validation we learned about what is computer system what do we need to remember about csv definition of csv and what does each of those phrases mean we also looked at various regulatory agencies of the world now i'm going to attach a worksheet for this video for that you can do a quick assignment to evaluate your understanding in the next module we are going to learn why csv is important to pharmaceutical medical device and biotechnology industries Thanks for watching.